So just imagine for a moment what type of environment you would want to work in, a place that would be exciting for you to wake up every day. Uh, what would the characteristics be? How would people be treated? What would be the most important thing in that company? Uh, how would you design your job? What values would exist? What purpose would the company have? Let's imagine a future company that we could create together. So I believe we would start with a noble purpose. It would be all about people and be grounded in a belief in the enormous potential that everyone has. In fact, the purpose would be the full release of human possibility. My noble goal is to co-create a peaceful, sustainable world by enhancing and expanding the horizons of one person at a time. I deeply believe that my role is to create opportunities for people to um, to see more and then therefore want more. Once they want it, I feel that they'll find a way to achieve it. I think it fundamentally changes work, not the way you view coming to work, but work itself. Work is no longer, I'm coming into the office to do X, Y, and Z to satisfy a financial need so I can go back and do what I fundamentally am passionate about. Work is around coming to work to fulfill what it is that I've truly am inspired to do what I fundamentally feel like I've been put on this earth to do. Our company would be dedicated to becoming a dual bottom line company where the development of ourselves, the people we work with, and the whole organization would be co-equal objectives. Co-equal, that would be a co-equal objective along with earning superior financial returns. These goals would be viewed actually as one and the same and fully consistent with each other. We would all realize that people who are focused on development pursue excellence. And when excellence is pursued, financial returns are superior. Everyone in our company would be committed to this way of working. When I look at excellence, I look at um, truly building a world-class organization that uh, is best in everything it does. And um, to be a world-class organization, you really have to, have to be excellent. And excellent in um, answering telephones, and running machine tools, and doing financial statements, supporting a customer in the aftermarket, and hiring people. And it's gonna require myself as a leader and my co-leaders in the organization to be willing to let go of the control. Uh, too often, we as leaders wanna control everything and uh, just allow people to have that freedom to do that. And so it's gonna start with us to make sure that, um, that we allow people to make decisions. Together, our largest responsibility is to assure our factories are safe places to work. And that at the end of the day, everyone returns safely to their loved ones at home. They would in fact take this value home with them and be a role model for safety in all aspects of their lives. Safety as a core value for ENPRO is critically important. It's important for every level of the organization because we want every employee to return home to their loved ones in the same condition that they came to work. We don't want anybody to be harmed or hurt or injured in any way on the job. That would be catastrophic. It would hurt every one of us one way or the other. We recognize that people are not just means they're also ends into themselves, which means that we approach people as fellow human beings, working to expand mutual respect and the full flourishing of human possibility. Respect thrives in diversity and difference among people and requires being an active and open learner with everyone. People learn best from other people, both individually and in groups. When I think of respect, it denotes um, an element of a, a positive esteem that you have toward other people. Um, so it's more, it's much more than just acceptance of other people, but it's actually uh, embracing the diversity of people and thought uh, so that we can all learn from each other. And uh, so in that sense, I think uh, respect is something that, that absolutely is, is totally consistent with the growth as individuals, the growth of groups, and uh, 
uh, making it possible for us to pursue a dual bottom line. In the role I'm in, I'm the only, I'm the only individual who's not an engineer. Um, so it's, it's a classic example of me bringing to the table a different perspective. They're allowing me to be myself and, and to live my dream um, through Enpro Industries. People would work together in learning communities that in many cases would extend beyond the boundaries of a single factory or a single business. The communities would be characterized by enormous respect that they would have for each other in the group, regardless of background, nationality, or function. New members would be welcomed to the community as individuals with new skills and experience were added and others would move on to different communities. Best practices would be readily exchanged and all would view teaching and learning as fully integrated with their daily work. Connection is a personal connection to our purpose of uh, the full release of human possibility. That's releasing one's own per talent and energy and the talent and energy of others. Each one of us is more alike than we are different. And that connection happens through caring and supporting each other it happens through authentic, true, two-way communication where each one of us shares information and knowledge with others and also listens to the voice, the true voice of the others. And uh, that happens through teaching others and learning from others and uh, through supporting and caring for others. Uh, and that is the way we can create true learning communities. In the past, um, we used to do business sort of within our division, and now there's people from all over the world, every division, participating in different committees together. And they're meeting people that they would have never met before in their jobs. And I think that it's enhanced them in so many ways, both um, the dynamics of what they do, cultural differences and understanding, and I think it's given everybody a kinder and gentler approach with a lot more respect and they respect each other and they, expect, you know, they respect the jobs and, and uh, the true commitment that each person brings to that committee. One thing that would be very evident would be that the, the, the role that leaders would play. Leaders would be servant leaders and would spend time guiding and coaching and teaching instead of directing others. They would deeply care about improvement and would commit significant time to their own and others' development. They would be role models in living the purpose and values of the company. There's a complete disconnect in a lot of cases between what the individual really is at its core versus what he or she lives and experiences day to day at work. And I think that's what we're trying to address here at Enpro Industries where someone can actually look at his or her destiny and take it head on you know, within, uh, within uh, the confine of Enpro Industries. So to me, it's extremely powerful, extremely positive. It's a subtle difference to go to work to be and not just to do. Uh, but to me, it fully explains and, and re fully represents what the, uh, the purpose of Enpro Industries is going forward. What would it be like if you were employed by a company that allowed you to dream? That as part of your daily responsibilities, you were tasked with answering some basic questions. How might we do this better? What new products can we supply to our customers? How can we supply and develop something for customers and internal customers that people just have never done before? In other words, they give you the capacity and freedom to dream. That's what's exciting about Enpro for me. We empower our employees to create, create whole new opportunities, and in the process, it allows them to learn. And when our employees learn, we learn as an organization. We get better together, and we grow, and we create a dynamic, wonderful environment uh, for us to come uh, be employed at every day. The day-to-day decision-making would happen very close to the front line of action as segment and product managers and their relevant support teams would be fully empowered to drive performance. They would aggressively pursue excellence as defined by their customers and the best possible standards of performance. They would have decision-making rights to maximize value and others in their organization would support them regardless of reporting lines. Reporting lines in general would carry much less importance than in a typical company. 
as everyone would simply work together in a mutually supportive way. Freedom is uh, one of the key um, elements of the full release of human possibility. Uh, it also uh, gives one the ability to discern where they spend their time, um, in what activities they work in, uh, things that interest them, both for their ability to be better at what they do, but also to um, allow the company to be more successful um, by being able to explore new things and understand new things. In this future, Impro would be an extremely interesting and rewarding place to work and would allow everyone to achieve higher and higher levels of capability. It would challenge you to know more about your work and about our company, both how and why we're successful. Our fundamental belief would be that the more you know, the more you will contribute to the company's success and to your own growth. To be ever-growing means to be committed to continuous improvement, committed to self-development, committed to being a learner, um, and as well as being a teacher as well as being a learner, right? Being able to balance learning from an individual that you typically wouldn't learn from as well as teaching individuals that you typically wouldn't interact with. So to be ever-growing at NPRO is truly a commitment to developing oneself, being open to learning, listening, coaching, mentoring. We have an underlying, uh, deeply held belief that human beings have unlimited potential. They have an unlimited potential to learn, an unlimited potential to contribute, uh, an unlimited potential to, to teach others. And unfortunately, many times, organizations uh, stifle that and we believe that that's a crime. We believe that uh, that our single purpose as a company is unlocking all of that potential and in order for us to do that we need people to be committed to to themselves just as deeply as we're committed uh, to them and realizing this possibility. To achieve a dual bottom line it's not just the financial results, it's not just our individual uh, development or the development of the community, uh, but to create an institution that carries this power, this energy, this passion, this intention that's truly going to differentiate us in the marketplace. So that's why I've chosen this aspect of the world view to tie to my personal beliefs and value systems to create a difference for NPRO. This vision can be our reality. There's nothing really standing in our way, nothing really. Uh, only us, only our history, only our egos, or what others might expect of us because it's not how they work, it's not their way of working, or it might not be considered socially acceptable uh, as a way to work. But make no mistake, at the end of the day, it is all on us to create this reality. So I'd ask you this week and going forward to find your role in helping create this as our reality. And as you seek your purpose and live it out through InPro.